Okay. Committee on State Affairs will come to order. Will the clerk call the roll? Betancourt. Uh, present. Birdwell. Present. LaMattia. Present. Menendez. Present. Middleton. Parker. Present. Perry. Here. Schwartner. Here. Zaffarini. Present. Paxton. Present. Use. Here. The quorum is present. Thank you, members, uh, for accommodating the schedule. Uh, we'll take up pending business, and at this time, the chair lays out Senate Bill 147, the Central Coal Course, the bill we heard uh, some weeks ago. I'm sure folks will recall. Uh, Central Coal Course has prepared a new committee substitute. The chair now lays out the committee substitute, recognize Central Coal Course to explain the substitute. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, members, a uh, lot of feedback, a lot of input. Um, the substitute, uh, which would be the second substitute, the first substitute, of course, uh, allows anybody to buy homes. It made a number of changes. This substitute does not name any particular country, but instead ties applicability of a country to a country designated as a threat by the Director of National Intelligence in the three most recently published annual threat assessments. The three most recent publication allows the legislature time to make changes if criteria of the report changes while ensuring the identification of the three threatening country uh, the three the threatening country by the director of national intelligence is not a one-off event so it ties it back uh, to the report thank you senator any questions for the yes, author the senator uh, uh, will go in seniority order or try to senator Bergwell. Okay. so it is the the countries that are listed is it they must be listed three times sequentially or once in three times no, three times sequential. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Senator Pax. Uh, yes, and Sorry, I, I appreciate that. And Senator Colcourse, you and I have had many, many discussions over the entire uh, uh, time of this bill being laid out uh, first time in committee and um, up until today. And um, one thing we all agree on is that there, we know there are bad actors um, present in the United States from these countries. Um, hiding in plain sight many times um, and you have shown us data to support that there are significant risks uh, to our national security that your bill intends to address and I first just want to I want to thank you for that um, but we know that this is happening um, and that this risk this sort of liability it's being executed through um, in, in some cases property and land purchases in the United States by these bad actors uh, who intend us harm and we both agree that is not okay and we will not turn a blind eye to that um, at the same time we know that there are people who have come to the United States because they want to pursue the American dream and they're fleeing these countries and so just as we move forward in this process um, you've said this but I, I wanted just to, to ask you publicly and we've already talked about this but is the goal of this um, to identify, remove, and deter the bad actors who are here on visas and other ways um, um, to deter them, uh, the, to reward the people who are here for good purposes, but to deter and, and, uh, and punish those who are trying to steal the American dream, really? Is that your intent? Yeah. Yes, and I, I want to thank you, Senator Paxton. Senator Parker, um, we've had great discussions about uh, those that are lawfully here on visas potentially or, or any of those that are refugees. We're going to continue to work on this bill to refine it. Uh, I thought that we had just an awesome exchange about uh, what the real intent of the bill is, and that is to protect our country from those uh, that want to do harm, but to allow people who want to live the American dream the opportunity to do it. So you've seen through the first sub uh, that anyone can come here and buy a home, right? Um, we're working on not picking out specific countries, but those that have been identified as threats to our country. Uh, and then, um, you know, looking at how we move forward and making sure that we don't in, in unintentionally gather up people that are here truly to live the American dream. And so you and Senator Parker uh, have uh, my word that we're going to continue to work on this. Um, that's why I have not asked for a vote. We continue to get that input and that feed, feedback. Thank you, Senator. Thank Senator you. Menendez. I didn't Thank see you before. Go ahead. That's okay, Mr. Chairman. It's not a problem. We're all equal. 
Um, Sir Corcoros, I, I support your motive of wanting to keep our, our state and nation safe. I think I, I know in your heart of hearts it's the right thing. My concern is that similarly to what was just expressed, and for me it's kind of personal. My dad, when he left communist Cuba, he was interrogated for a long time because they didn't know who was who. And and, and they work hard and they, you know, want to established roots and many of these immigrants who are fleeing these these communist countries uh, some of which are on that list uh, their first thing they want to do is is show a loyalty and a love for a country who's given them an opportunity and so my concern is that yeah I mean I, I'm glad they can buy a home but some of them want to have a restaurant or a, a business and and they they want to be able to control that asset in the same way so while I support your motive, I, I'm still, I don't think I'm still there yet because I want to be careful that we figure out the how do we capture the bad actors. And I'm not sure, I don't know yet how to do it, and, but I appreciate your work and I look forward to working with you. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. And, you know, obviously that's why I've tied it back to the national threat assessment um, and that, um, you know, again, allowing someone to have a home, allowing someone to own up to 50% of a potential property. If you become the lawful, uh, uh, I'm sorry, legal permanent resident, uh, you're a dual citizen, um, you can own all the property you want. And so, you know, working through the process, this is how the process works. Uh, I, I really uh, look forward to, again, doing this. Uh, as a reminder, 22 states already uh, disallow uh, foreign national ownership of land. Uh, there are several in the process right now. Uh, and then, you know, finally I will say that that is why I didn't cast the wide net of all foreign ownership. And there are bills, you know, that have been filed this session that say that. Mine is very specific to the enemy countries. I, I think you are working very hard to draft a, a very deep, a, a, a specific uh, surgical approach to a, to a very difficult problem to solve, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Thank Senator you. Menendez. Thank you. Senator Bencourt. Uh, Senator Colcourse, I just want to go over one point yep. here because obviously uh, you've had a second sub. That's somewhat unusual, but as Senator Menendez pointed out, this very complicated issue. Right? So, Lots of input from all of you. Right. Now, um, th let's just quickly go over that really what you have is a post facto enforcement here, mm -hmm. right, and make sure I understand it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It? So it, it spells out that the enforcement mechanism for removing prohibited entities ownership of real estate uh, title, and that goes with the AG is given authority to investigate potential violations and then bring a divestment proceeding before a court of law. And working with realtors and things, I didn't want them to have to be the police up front. Now the title companies, if you look at it, it's post de facto, but it's going to be a little bit pre because title companies are going to look into uh, and do a little more research if this bill were to pass. And so once the judge finds the entity in violation, they order the real estate into receivership under existing receivership procedures under Chapter 64 of the Civil Practices and Civil Remedies. And so, you know, again, using a law that's already there. Senator Parker, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And first of all, thank you, Senator Colcourse, for all the hard work, uh, the energy you're putting into this. It's a very uh, complicated topic, but one that's essential for us as Texans and Americans to protect our national security. We have to do this. It's all in our best collective interest. So thank you for your heart and your passion. Thank you for being thoughtful. We've certainly uh, come so far already in this process. Uh, the, the substitutes uh, have vastly been vast improvements every time with all these complexities that we're working with here. And, and, and as we all know in this room, our objective is to be able to protect, uh, you know, the American way of life, to protect the American dream for people that come here to this country in a legal fashion. Uh, and so, look, last session, for example, I worked with Senator Campbell, and I was the author of the Texas Lone Star Infrastructure Protection Act that specifically focused on protection and uh, against certain countries uh, specific to various topics of our infrastructure. Uh, so again, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate the progress we're making. We're trying to find the right balance between allowing the opportunity for folks to live the American dream, to, to be able to invest, to be able to grow a business here, all these things, while at the same time protecting all of our collective security. Uh, and so my vote today, I will be supportive of this uh, measure today to move the process forward. 
knowing that I have your commitment, as do the members of the committee, that we're going to continue to work to perfect it Absolutely. between now and the time it comes to the floor, specifically to look at how we tighten up some of these is issues around visas, those that are uh, should be applicable and not, so we find the right balance. So we take care of all these wonderful people that are in our country that are here legally, that are on a path to American citizenship so they have the chance to live the American dream. So with that commitment, I look forward to being supportive. This is just a part of the process of the legislature, moving legislation through this, this dynamic we call session, um, and look forward to working with you as we continue to perfect it going forward. Absolutely. Uh, great input. We're talking about different amendments that we can offer. Uh, and I, again, capture those that want to do harm to our country, but let people live the American dream and the balance in between. Amen. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator Betancourt moves adoption of the substitute. We had not adopted the previous one. I need to remove it. So Senator Betancourt moves adoption of the substitute. It's just been explained. Is there objection? It is adopted. Senator Betancourt moves it. Uh, Senate Bill uh, 147 as substituted be reported February to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Thank Court. Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? Aye. No. Sorry. Menendez? No. Middleton? Aye. Parker? Aye. Perry? Yes, in the name of process. Schwartner? Aye. Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Yes. Yes. There being eight ayes and uh, two nays, the bill will be reported in favor of the full Senate. The chair now has that Senate Bill 1446 and will yield the gavel to Senator Paxton. Uh, if it is my bill. Chair lays out as a matter of pending business Senate Bill 1446 by Senator Hughes. Senator Hughes had previously, uh, previously sent up a committee substitute but we have not yet adopted the substitute. He now withdraws that substitute, sends up a new committee substitute to Senate Bill 1446 and is recognized to explain the substitute. Thank you, Madam Chair. This substitute does two major things. The first, instead of saying what an investment manager cannot do uh, with regard to their other clients, we instead require them to sign an attestation of, that, of how they will manage Texas public pension system assets. They'll have to commit to consider only financial factors when investing public pension system assets and not political or ideological purposes. It also changes the enforcement mechanism to remove the AG investigation and trustee removal. Instead, we'll rely on existing remedies and investigation powers. A few other technical changes. Those are the two main ones. That's what the new sub does. Ask for your consideration and yield for your questions. Okay. Thank you, Senator Hughes. Are there any questions? Senator Menendez, you're recognized. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Is your new sub, uh, with that change to where you focus on what they're doing with their Texas clients, is that an effort to try to uh, address the problem that I think we heard in committee that said if they had other people that they work with outside of the state that it would cause them possibly uh, a cost because they'd have to sever ties with the people that were doing other things. And so in your committee sub, what you're trying to do is, is focus it solely on what's happening within the state of Texas in order to reduce the potential exposure that they have. Senator, that's the idea. So make sure that they're not playing politics with Texas money, left, right, or anywhere else, but just maximizing returns. And, and, and Which is fine. We want maximization of returns, but there was a potential that if it impacted relationships they had with others outside the state, it could cost them locally. So That concern was raised, and this should address that. that you're exactly right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Menendez. Any other questions, members? Senator Hughes moves we adopt the new committee substitute to Senate Bill 1446. Is there any objection? If not, it is so ordered. Senator Hughes moves we report the committee substitute to Senate Bill 1446 favorably to the whole Senate. The clerk will call the roll. Betancourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Aye. Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner? Aye. Zaffarini, Paxton. Aye. Yes. Aye. There being ten ayes and no nays, the committee substitute to Senate Bill 1446 will be reported favorably to the whole Senate. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank
Okay. Uh, the chair lays now as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 250. Senate Bill 250 by Senator Hall. Uh, Senator uh, B uh, Birdwell moves that Senate Bill 250 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Van Court? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? No. Menendez? Uh, 250? No. Middleton, Parker, Aye. Perry, Aye. Schwartner, Aye. Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. There being seven ayes and two nays, the bill will be reported February to full Senate. The chair now has it as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 2433 by Senator Bettencourt, 2433. Uh, the uh, chair sends up a new committee substitute and recognizes Senator Bettencourt to explain the substitute on 2433. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the, the substitute would make, make it clear the bill applied statewide instead of uh, uh, just Harris County. There were, some, there were some typos in the original one. And additionally, substitute only makes minor changes throughout the bill to bring the language in line with, uh, with other bills that have already passed the Senate. Any questions for the author? Senator Bettencourt moves we adopt the committee substitute that he just, he just explained. Any objection? Substitute's adopted. Senator uh, Birdwell moves that the committee substitute Senator Bill 2433 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass me for the clerk. Call the roll. Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? No. Menendez? Mr. Bill, are we on? 2433. 2433, Bessemer Bettencourt. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner, Aye. Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. <coughs> there being seven eyes and two days, it will be reported favorably to full Senate. Good, good to work. Which ones? The chair now lays out uh, Senate Bill uh, 417. Senate Bill 417 by Senator Paxton. Uh, the chair sends up the committee substitute previously explained to us on Senate Bill 417. Senator Paxton moves that the committee substitute be adopted. Is there objection? Hearing none, it is adopted. Senator Paxton moves that the committee substitute, Senate Bill 417, 417, be reported favorably to the full Senate with recommendation that do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? Aye. Menendez? 417. I am? Yeah, you're for it. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Middleton, Parker, uh, Perry, uh, Shortner, <laughs> Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. There being eight ayes and no nays, Committee Substitute Senate Bill 417 will be reported favorably. Uh, Senator Paxton moves the bill be recommended to certify for local and just to counter. Is there objection? Hearing none, so ordered. Uh, the chair now lays out as a matter of pending business, uh, Senate Bill 2021, 2021, Senator Paxton's bill. Senator Paxton had previously explained to the committee substitute the chair sends up the committee substitute. Uh, Senator Paxton moves that the committee substitute be adopted. This is on 2021. Is there objection? The substitute is adopted. Senator Paxton moves that Senate Bill 2021 as substituted be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Yes. There being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 2021 is substituted will be reported in favor of the full Senate. Senator Paxton moves the bill be certified and recommended for local and test counters. Objection. Hearing none. Thank so you. ordered. The chair now lays out Senate Bill 1556. That's uh, Senator Parker's bill on religious freedoms. 1556. And Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 1556 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. This is 1556. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt. What bills? 1556. Where am I? You are a. Yeah. You right to pray, yes. That's absolutely right. <laughs> 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 We're just checking notes here. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? Aye. Menendez? Yes. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Yes. 
Been eight ayes and no nays. Bill be reported favorably. Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 1556, subject to be reported, be recommended to certify local and test. Any objection? Hearing none, it's so ordered. The chair now lays out as a matter, in, as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 1711. Uh, Senator Perry's bill on uh, higher education, Senate Bill 1711. There's a committee substitute, which has been explained to us. The chair lays out the committee substitute. Senator Perry moves that we adopt the committee substitute on Senate Bill 1711. Is there objection? The substitute is adopted. Senator Perry moves it that, that Senate Bill 1711 as substituted be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt. 1711. Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamatia? Aye. Menendez? No. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Aye. There being seven eyes and one name. Uh, Senate Bill uh, 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 1711 will be reported favorably to the full Senate. The chair lays out as a matter of pending as a matter of pending business in Bill 1893 by Senator Birdwell. Uh, there is a committee substitute. This it has already been explained to us. The chair lays out the committee substitute. We're on 1893. Senator Birdwell moves that the committee substitute be adopted. Is there objection? Chair hears none. So ordered. Senator Parker moves that the committee substitute to Senate Bill 1893 be reported for everybody to the full Senate with the recommendation due pass and be printed. We're on 1893. Will the clerk call the roll? Bancourt. Aye. Birdwell. Hello. La Matia. Aye. Menendez. Aye. Middleton. Parker. Aye. Perry. Aye. Schwartner. Zaffarini. Paxton. Aye. Use. Aye. There being eight <laughs> ayes and no nays, bill will be reported for everybody to the full Senate uh, with a local, one of Senate the local too. Senator Bedcourt moves the bill be certified and recommended for placement on the local and test account. Is there objection? Hearing none. So ordered. Okay, so this one. Uh, the chair now lays that as a matter in, of pending business, Senate Bill 1512, Senator Schwartner's bill on eminent domain, Senate Bill 1512. Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 1512 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. 1512. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt. Aye. Birdwell. Aye. Lamatia. Aye. Menendez. Aye. Middleton. Parker. Aye. Perry. Aye. Schwartner. Zaffarini. Paxton. Aye. Use. Aye. There being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 1512 will be reported favorably to the full Senate. Senator, Bet uh, Senator Birdwell moves that the bill be certified for placement on the local uncontested account. Is there objection? Hearing none. So ordered. The chair lays that as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 1513. 1513, eminent domain bill by Senator Schwartner. Senator Bill 1513. Senator Birdwell moves that Senate Bill 1513 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. We're on 1513. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt. Aye. Birdwell. Aye. Lamatia. Aye. Menendez. Aye. Middleton. Parker. Aye. Perry. Aye. Schwartner. Aye. Zaffarini. Paxton. Aye. Use. Aye. There being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 1513 will be reported favorably. Senator uh, Birdwell, who I've only known for about 20 years, moves that <laughs> Senate Bill 1513 be recommended for placement on local and uncontested. Is there objection? Hearing none. It's so ordered. The chair lays out as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 998. Members, this is Senator West's bill about uh, training on opioid uh, overdoses for those that sell alcohol. Senate Bill 998. And uh, uh, Senator uh, Parker moves that Senate Bill 998 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? 998. Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamatia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker, Aye. Perry, Aye. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. There are being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 998 will be reported favor to the full Senate. Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 998 be recommended for the local and uncontested calendar. Is there objection? Hearing none, it's so ordered. The chair lays out as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 60. Senate Bill 60 is Senator Zaffarini's bill. And uh, there's a committee substitute, which she has previously explained to us. The chair lays out the committee substitute. 
Senator Menendez moves that the committee substitute be adopted. Is there objection? Hearing none, it is adopted. Senator Menendez moves that, that the committee substitute to Senate Bill 60 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Shortner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Aye. Eight ayes and no nays. Senate Bill 60 is substitute will be reported favorably. Senator Menendez moves that Senate Bill 60 be reported, be recommended for a local and uncontested. Local Without objection, it is so ordered. The chair lays out this matter of pending business, Senate Bill 1375 by Senator Parker. Uh, Senate Bill 1375, Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 1375 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Senate Bill 1375, will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Mantilla? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton, Parker, Aye. Perry, Aye. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. There being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 1375 is reported favorably. Senator Menendez moves the bill be recommended for local uncontested. Is there objection? Hearing none, it's so ordered. The chair lays out as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 2186. 2186 by Senator Zaffarini. 2186. Senator Menendez moves that Senate Bill 2186 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Mantilla? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? 2186. <laughs> Shortner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Aye. Eight ayes and no nays. <laughs> And that was A Y E, not E Y E. We were saying on that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The chair lays out as a matter as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 2284 by Senator Middleton. Uh, Senate Bill 2284. There's a committee substitute. The chair lays out the committee substitute. It has previously been explained to the members. We're on 2284. 2284. It's about the bottle, the custom bottles. Can I uh, move to 2186 to local? There were some questions about that. Okay. Keep it up. Thank you. But on that one, I think there are some questions. Thank you. Uh, 2284. Okay. And so there's a substitute that's already, the chair's laid out, it's been explained to us. And uh, Senator Menendez moves into Bill 2284 as. As, oh, it does not move. Okay. All right. Senator Bettencourt moves that Senate Bill 2284 as substituted be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamatia? No. Menendez? I, I have some questions. Not like that yet. No. Okay. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? No. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? I okay. I don't know. I don't know what I thought you just said. Use. <laughs> okay. And the chair votes aye. And uh, there being five ayes and three nays, the bill does not pass at this time. The chair now lays that as a matter of pending business. Uh, we, we can do, we can come back if we. Since it did pass, does that put me on the prevailing side? It does. Yes, sir. I, I, I am open. I just didn't have enough questions. I got a question. I don't mind uh, if I just get some. Yeah, go to the floor. Let's let's reconsider and then put it. Let's that's a great motion. You know just what? leave hey, it. You know on. what? Let's move to reconsider. I'm going to change my vote to let the process go to the, keep going. Let's go. Senator Menendez moves. We reconsider the vote whereby Senate Bill 2284 is substituted failed to pass. Is there objection? Very well. We're back on. Passage of 2284. Senator Menendez moves that committee substitute Senate Bill 2284 be reported favorably to the full Senate. Recommendation to do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. La Matilla? No. Menendez? Ah, you were just a yes. No, 2284? Yeah, yeah. I was a no. She was a no. She was a no. She was a no. She was a no. I swear to you. Yeah. Uh, 
minutes or whatever, we're missing something. I have something's missing. Yeah. I, don't know. I, don't, I, I may even need to start drinking. So <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, uh, I'm going to say yes for now. Middleton, Parker, yes. Perry, no. Shortner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Hughes. Aye. Aye. There being six ayes and two nays, the bill will be reported favorably to the full Senate. We'll have a discussion on the floor on that one, it sounds like. Uh, so, uh, the chair now lays that as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 926. Senator Parker's Bill 926. Senator Parker moves that Senate Bill 926 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Bancourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? Aye. Menendez? 926. You get drunk in NASCAR. Yeah, that's fine. Middleton, Parker, Aye. Perry, Shortner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. Yeah, uh, use. Aye. There being seven ayes and one nay, uh, Senate Bill 926 will be reported favorably to the full Senate. Uh, so back to this one now. The chair now lays out as, as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 2071 by Senator Betancourt. Senator Betancourt had previously explained to substitute us. The chair lays out the committee substitute as previously explained. We're on 2071. The substitute was explained in the last hearing. This is now before us. 2071. Senator Betancourt moves that Senate Bill 2071 be Oh, that's right. We need to adopt it. Thank you. Senator Betancourt moves that we adopt the substitute. Is there objection? It is adopted. Senator Betancourt, the, right right. the one that was previously laid out. Yes, sir. Senator Betancourt moves that the committee substitute Senate Bill 2071 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it be passed and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Betancourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? No. Menendez? No. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton, Aye. use. Aye. There being six ayes and two nays, the bill will be reported favorably to the full Senate. Okay. The chair now lays that as, as a matter of pending business, Senate Bill 1097 by Senator Parker. Uh, there was a substitute that was not has not been adopted. The chair now lays out now lays lays out a new substitute. Recognizes Senator Parker to explain the new committee substitute. Thank you, Chairman Hughes and members. Uh, the committee substitute to SB 1097 cleans up language relating to the applicability date of the bill and the contract immunity waiver requested by Wise County Health System and Medical City. Enables the transaction to move forward. Thank you, Senator. Any questions for the author? Very well. Senator Parker moves that the committee substitute just explained be adopted. Is there objection? Hearing none, it's adopted. Senator Parker moves that the that Senate Bill 1097 as substituted be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that do pass and be printed. Will the clerk call the roll? Benton Court. Are there OH radicals involved in the one? Yes. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Aye. There being eight ayes and no nays, committee substitute Senate Bill 1097 will be reported in favor of the full Senate. <coughs> Senator uh, Parker moves that the bill be certified for placement on local and uncontested calendars. Is there objection? Hearing none, it's so ordered. Madam Chair, thank you. Thank you, Senator Hughes. Chair brings up as a matter of pending business the committee substitute to SJR 70. Senator Hughes moves we adopt the committee substitute to SJR 70. Is there any objection? If not, so it is so ordered. Senator Hughes moves we report the committee substitute to SJR 70 favorably to the whole Senate. The clerk will call the roll. Betancourt? Aye. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? Aye. Menendez? No. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Aye. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Hughes? Aye. There being seven ayes and one nay, the committee substitute to SJR 70 will be reported favorably to the full Senate. Chair brings up Senate Bill 1281 as a matter of pending business. Senator Hughes moves that Senate Bill 1281 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. The clerk, uh, clerk will call the roll. Bettencourt? Aye. Birdwell? Lamantia? No. Menendez? No. Middleton? Parker, Aye. Perry, 
Yeah, what's wrong, right? Eliminates the omnibus program. Failure to fear program. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Even though my county judges are mad at me over. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton. Aye. Use. Last one to vote. So members, uh, so before I cast my vote. In order to move to reconsider a vote, one would have to be on the prevailing side, and so, okay, can you do it for us at a later date? Is that okay? Because I was going to vote no, so I could reconsider. Yeah, no, you. you mean today, or, or I don't want to put you on the spot. It's fine. If you, I'm not going to vote for very it. Very good. If you reconsider later, when we have, okay, very good. I will vote aye. There being five ayes and three nays. The member fails. That's right. Okay. The member fails to die. The motion fails to die. Five ayes and three nays. We need six. So Just we need six. Okay. Later. 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 Not today. We're, 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 uh, we're going to do it. We're going to do that later. So, so the, the the motion fails. The motion fails. That's right. Okay. Now, why not? Why not? Why not? Let him do it. I'll make a motion to reconsider. And then we'll just leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Senator Menendez um, moves to reconsider the vote on Senate Bill 1281. Um, is there objection? Hearing none? So we'll just leave the bill pending. All right. So adopted and or so moved, then uh, we will leave the bill pending. The reconsideration adopted. The reconsideration is adopted, and we will leave the bill pending, subject to call of the chair. All right. Thank you. All right. Chair brings up Senate Bill 1270, 1725, as a matter of pending business. Senator Hughes moves that Senate Bill 1725 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. The clerk will call the roll. Bancourt. Aye. Birdwell. Aye. Lamantia? Aye. Menendez? Aye. Middleton? Parker? Aye. Perry? Yes. Schwartner? Zaffarini? Paxton? Aye. Use? Aye. Eight. There being eight ayes and no nays, Senate Bill 1725 will be um, reported for um, certification on the local and uncontested calendar. Oh, it's a great bill. Is there objection? Hearing none, so order. Chair brings up Senate Bill 2275 as a matter of pending business. Senator Hughes moves that Senate Bill 2275 be reported favorably to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. The clerk will call the roll. Bancourt? Yes. Birdwell? Aye. Lamantia? No. Menendez? Which bill? 2275. Middleton? Parker, aye. Perry, yes. Schwartner, Zaffarini, Paxton, aye. Use. Aye. There being six ayes and two nays, Senate Bill 2275 will be reported favorably to full Senate. All right. Thank you very much. And Senate Bill 1446. Let's see. Stop there. Okay. Oh, sorry. I did that earlier. All right. So I think that's everything. All right. Thank, thank you. you. So much, thank you so much. I thank you each so much. Our excellent staff, our members, and all of our teams and ex able Senate service team. We have much motions in writing from Senator Middleton, Senator Schwartner, Senator Zaffarini without objection. They'll be adopted. And without objection, the committee stands in recess of the call this year. Thank you again. Thank you.